Hello YouTube, uh, we're going to be looking at the AP Calculus AB 2013 for your response questions. This is question number one. Um, this is one of the presumed harder ones for some reason. After doing the problem it really takes a lot of thought so I just thought I'd go over it after uh, doing it. So just going to highlight the key information that we just want to pay attention to. Uh, of course, function, uh, the hours of the interval, um, you know, all the numbers and good stuff. So pretty much it's just saying this is a rate. Don't be fooled, but it's a rate. And from zero to eight hours, um, it starts with 500 tons at the beginning. So at time zero. I don't know what just happened, but something went wrong. And then anyway, it decreases at 100 tons per hour. So you got the rate of decrease here. So this is decrease and this is your rate of increase. So like imagine um, you start with a bathtub that's full of water and um, you have the drain that's draining it. This would be what the drain's draining at 100 tons an hour and this is the function of increase and how much the water is being poured in. So kind of think of it like that. It'll make it a lot easier. Alright, so we're going to answer part A. Basically just find, it says to ask for g prime of 5. All you do is um, make y1 your function here which is g of t and then um, you will just do g of t and then you know find g prime. This is all calculator based but you'll find that the rate is negative 24.588 tons per hour that is the units because think of it that's the it's decreasing um, at that rate. So pretty much the rate at which the gravel is arriving is decreasing um, at five hours is pretty much is what this is saying and to calculate on the calculator you do like math 8 and then y1 so you would do. That's pretty much the steps here on what you would do on your calculator but I think you guys should all know how to do that. Alright so that one's pretty easy I mean it's just you need to know that it's decreasing at the beginning. So let's move on to the next question. It's part. It's asking for the total amount of unprocessed gravel um, during the hours of operation for the workday. So you know that um, the given information, the hours were from 0 to 8. So that's like the interval. Um, so if you want to find the total amount of something, how do you find that? Well, if you think, you're, well, you, here's what you have to do. You have to take the integral. Why? Well, think of it when you're doing like uh, velocity and acceleration, like particles and motion kind of problems. When you want to find the total distance, it's um, the area under the curve. And so this is the total amount, what could be considered the total distance if you're um, relating it to the uh, speed, velocity, acceleration, position type of uh, questions. So all you do is just take the integral from 0 to 8 of g of t and make sure you relate it so dt um, you would do that on your calculator as well you would do math 9 and then y1 and then you would get 825.551 tons so this is the amount of unprocessed gravel throughout the workday which is 8 hours so that's pretty much that right there. So you may be thinking, wow, this is not that bad, but here's where it starts to get difficult here. Okay. So now let's go back to the analogy with the um, sink. So this is asking, is the amount increasing or decreasing at five hours? So remember, g of t is the rate of increase. So this is like the amount of water being poured in, pour, poured in to the bathtub I guess and remember simultaneously you have the drain in this case is a hundred tons per hour is the rate so how are you supposed to find this well you have to see at five hours which rate is greater so you know that there's the hunt the rate of decrease is a hundred tons and this is decrease so you have to find what the rate of increase is. So you do g of 5 
um, and put that in your calculator. So it'd be y1 parentheses five, and you would get ninety. You would get ninety eight point one four one. I'll round up to three sigs. There's my three digits after the decimal, and you got to compare it to what? It's also decreasing. So this is it's going up, and there's a hundred tons going down. So, which number is bigger, 98 or 100? 100. So, that means it is decreasing at approximately a rate of 2, right? Because 100 minus 98 is 2. But all you need to know is that it's decreasing. So, decreasing. Because the rate of increase is less than the rate of decrease, as we established here. Remember, this is increase, and this is decrease. All right. So, last part is the maximum amount of unprocessed gravel. Okay, let's jump into this. So, we're going to have to look back at the beginning. What where did we start with? So, going back to the bathtub, you had 500 tons, remember? Oops, something just happened again. Uh, anyway, I was saying you have 500 tons initially. Remember, at time zero, you had 500 tons. So, think of it, you had like five gallons of water in the bathtub or something. Um, and then you want to find what's the maximum amount. Well, pretty much you got to add that to the... So you have the initial. And remember when we were talking about when you find the area under the curve, it's like the total amount. But if we're finding the maximum amount, so we still have to consider the total. So we'd have the total gravel from increase minus the total gravel from decrease since minus because it's decreasing. Okay, so what that uh, turns into is 500 plus the integral um, from 0. Now here's the thing, what the second limit of integration is, pretty much you put the, um, the function g of t in your calculator and find where its maximum... Uh, at time where it's increasing or maximum amount so you would do second calculate uh, zeros and then you'd find where it would intercept so that's where the x-intercept is and uh, you would get 4.923 and that's at that time is where the rate is is at its max so now we tie that back into the original here so the second limit would be of integration would be four point uh, nine two three, oop nine two three, um and then we'll just put g of t. But remember that's the ninety plus forty five cosine t squared over eighteen yada yada yada, uh, dt minus the rate of decrease. Now you could just well multiply a hundred, but you know like when you do the integral of from zero to four point nine two three times any constant. It's just this constant times uh, the limit of integration for this case. So you know that's going to be about like 492, because 100 times 4.923. Um, so after you put all that in your calculator, uh, you would get the maximum amount. So max amount would be 635.8. Three, seven, six tons. And that, my friends, is your answer. So, uh, hope this sort of cleared up. Pretty much, you just had to figure out at the beginning that G of T was a rate. And, uh, pay attention to what you're given because, like, you kind of forget what you're given when you get to, like, C and D. And you need to use that information here and here. So, uh, Hope that helped, and good luck on the AP test.